Hey y'all, it's Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas, and I wanted to show you guys one of my weirdest succulents. It's definitely the weirdest looking. It's been pretty easy to take care of so far, but even the name, um, it's pretty difficult to say, and I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I can't find it, uh, a spoken version of the pronunciation online, but we have Acanthocereus tepocatapacanus. Okay, and that is as close as I'm going to be able to get. So that is, one more time, Acanthocereus tepulcatapacanus. And that is said the way it is spelled. Um, and that's, again, probably as close as I'm going to get until I hear someone who really knows what they're talking about say it out loud for me. So I have one, two, three, four, six different plants. I keep finding them at this really cute little nursery. Shout out another place in time. And that's in the Heights in Houston on 11th Street. Leave me some good stuff, y'all. Again, another place in time. Um, mm -mm -mm. So I found some more there the other day and I want to repot them all in a bigger pot. Uh, I was just kind of in a pinch and I used like a glazed uh, ceramic pot. I want to get them out of that. It hasn't been that long. I haven't watered them that much. Um, I have terracotta. We already have a, a screen in the bottom. And let's come over here and pop these up. And don't mind the lettuce over here. I'm just using it to prop up my book. The Succulent Manual, A Guide to Care and Repair for All Climates. See what I'm doing here? I always forget to like mention I wrote a book. Well, I don't always forget, but I often forget. And I should be promoting it more. So my book, The Succulent Manual, it's also available as an interactive ebook. And there's links to all that in my video descriptions. One more thing, you should always read my video descriptions because I always add a lot more information, um, usually add a lot more information and links to like products and stuff I recommend, um, things like that, including my book. Okay. So I'm going to get you know, some close-ups on this weirdo because it's really hard, it's like hard to wrap your head around like what is going on here? There's these sections, like segments, new segments long almost like maculated splotchy coloring it's green it has like a nice matte finish like a couple of different greens going on here and then like on the new growth it's really cute look at that this reminds me of like one a, a toy that i had when i was little and you'd like throw it against the wall and it would like walk down the wall just these little parts i don't know if y'all remember that stuff and i think it came in and i know it came in a cereal box there's a free toy what happened to the good old days, y'all? And here's the other one. It looks a little bit different. Got a little fat base. I think it, it needed, it kind of maybe stretched out a little bit. Maybe not. But um, it is a little more tapered. So, but these are like, they feel like um, new bamboo. They're, they're very, very firm and smooth. And thank God, not a lot of glow kids, if any. I don't think I've. Um, that's this is not recommended, but no, I touched <laughs> I touched the aerials and I do not see any glow uh, kits or feel any. All right, so like I guess I'd screen already in the bottom of the pot, and I have a little cup of a nice mix of drainage materials. That's going to be turfus, which is the smaller stuff. Here, there's turfus, expanded shale. I guess that's all I put in there. I thought I put some pumice. There, there's a little pumice in there. The white stuff is the pumice. And I like a, just a nice mix. And I'm just going to go ahead and this is my fast draining soil. But I like to make it even faster draining. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to just pour some out into the bottom. Alright. Cool. I mean, you can't really see, but you know what I'm doing. Um, there it goes, the drainage materials. And as often, this is a very, um, looks almost like a peaty mix, so I want to break up that new stuff, the new, the soil around the new plant. Ah, oh, no. Okay, well, I guess that's one way to tell it's time to repot something. Um, let me just try and break up some of this old soil. I'm just going to gently like massage it. What's that? Yeah, these are 
You know what I'm going to do instead? I just don't want to mess up the roots that much, and I do want to water these fairly soon. So for now, what happens if you put it in a nice fast draining mix, if the soil is kind of compact around the roots like that, you can just go ahead and put it in there. I'm going to break up the side a little bit more. Go ahead and pot it up with your fast draining mix. And give it watering, and it'll just, they'll start to find their way out and stretch out. And if they don't, if you want to go back and check, um, in like a couple of weeks. You can go back and try and separate them a little bit more. They're coming. That's enough. Something pokey right there. That is a little bit sharp right there. But just to make some room. And I also do like to get, I don't want it to be touching the base of the plant, this old soil. So I am gonna try and work that free. I'm just rubbing. Gosh, this is so dry. It feels like sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss. That's a really cool shape. This thing is awesome. Look. It's got like a one, two, three. It's like it has four sides down at the base, and it also kind of reminds me of like weird horns. I just wash my hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna just put that guy down in there. And I've got some nice expanded shale as a top dressing in this one. So I'm gonna just kind of save what I can of that. Oh, God. Put that to the side. Let's get these guys out. Oh, my goodness. Well, these are some rudy boys. Look at all those roots. That's nice. Those are new. Screen. I love finding screens when I'm repotting. They are precious. And I'll definitely reuse the soil. There's nothing wrong with it. And yeah, this is, you can tell it's pretty much the same soil as before. I didn't break it up very much, but, and it probably was really similar, but look at these roots now. Right, they're kind of making their way out. There's some fatter, like, tap roots down in there. Isn't this so weird? Ugh, I love it. I love it, I love it. All right, so I've got to make these all fit in the same pot, and I think I'm gonna hold them together. I need, I overfilled it just a little bit take some of this out. Try and show you guys a different angle. Alright, so that's what we have so far. And they're just wonky and that's just how they are. I don't think they'll ever be like stand up perfectly straight like a uh, Santaveria or Trucana cylindrica, whatever we're calling them now. But I'll come back and I'll fill these up. I'm gonna use some of that. I pulled out. Okay, that's plenty. And just work it down in there. Down and around. And I do like the expanded shale with these. As a for the color. It's like kind of a nice gray. As a top dressing. So I'm gonna use some of the old expanded shale from the previous pot. I like to pour it in the middle when you have these wonky plants and then spread it out. And I'm going to need a little bit more. Mm. It's so cool. This plant is so cool. And like I've seen, I never saw them before. When I saw them at the nursery, I was like, what is this freak show? Can I have it? And they let me buy it because it was for sale. <laughs> um, yeah, I really can't help myself. Even if I was like, I cannot buy another plant for a month, I'm gonna buy. I'll buy another one of these if I see it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let me step back and look at that. Oh, it's that cool. I kind of want this one up a little bit more, but it doesn't want to be. So I have a cool rock crystal. 
like a cave, a crystal cave. I'm gonna put it in there. All right. Acanthocereus. Tipple catapicanus. It's so cool. It is so cool. It's so cool. You little weirdo. I really think this is, this has got to be my weirdest plant right now. Looks wise at least. I mean, what else, how else can a plant be weird? So yeah, I think you're winning, bud. I can't the serious. Tuple Catapicanus. I think we need to come up with a nickname for this guy. What do you think this plant should be named? Because that's a lot, of, a lot of words, a lot of letters to say, to make two words. <laughs> Okay, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, all that fun stuff. And grow lettuce if you don't already, because I just started this bowl and we feed it like maybe a month ago and I've had like so many salads off of it and there's like butter, uh, butter leaf, there's a romaine, and there's like some red leaf something or other. And I haven't had to throw any lettuce away. And it, we always have to throw lettuce away. It's like you buy a bag of spring mix don't even open it, you just throw it away sometimes. But, oh yeah. Yes. Proper plug, buy my book. And buy cool, ugly plants. You're not ugly, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys. Later.